In this movie, we'll continue working with the gauge graphic to create the actual needle that indicates where the score is on the actual gauge. Now, we have several options for creating the needle graphic, right? If I go back up to Insert and look at my shape options, I could use anything here from a line to a rectangle. Triangle is actually not a, a bad option here, but let's actually uh, work with the trapezoid only because we want to maybe keep our uh, end of our needle just a little bit duller. It doesn't have to be completely pointed like a triangle. So by using the trapezoid, we actually can control that a little differently. So select it and just click and drag over your slide. We're going to do some modifications here to the actual size of it. So let's go ahead first and remove the outline to the graphic or we'll keep it, but we'll want to make sure it's the same color. So from the Format tab, let's go ahead and choose a fill of a dark gray, and I'll also make the outline the same color. And I don't need it to be quite as wide, so I'll shrink it, reduce it a little bit. Here's a quick shortcut. If you hold the Control key down and you have a wheel mouse, I can scroll my wheel mouse and it actually zooms in on the object that I've uh, currently selected. I'm going to drag this yellow diamond in just a little bit. I don't, I, if I go all the way, I can get a triangle, but I don't need it quite that sharp. That might be better. Hold my control key down. I can actually uh, mouse out to see it at a different distance. So good little shortcut like that. Probably too long, right? So if I just get an idea of how much of this uh, needle I want, and right now this really just becomes the type of production uh, design work really based on whatever you're trying to go for. So I'm just gonna make a couple quick adjustments and whatever I have, I'll live with. Kinda looks like a needle, but maybe I need a little bit of a, of a base here just to give it a little bit more uh, realistic look. I wanted to move this in, but it looks like what's happening is it's snapping to the grid, the grid in the, the document. Hold my Alt key down, I can actually bypass that a little bit and reduce it. So if you find that you're, um, you just can't really resize a graphic uh, beyond a certain uh, increments, right? Well, you could change the grid settings by right-clicking and, and going into grids, or just hold the Alt key, and you can quickly get in there and then uh, make some uh, really small adjustments to the uh, width of a, or scale of an object. That's fine for now. So let's go ahead and bring in a circle shape. So we'll go back to Insert Shape and grab a circle. Good looking circle, that's probably fine. And I'll also take uh, the same properties that I just used for my uh, needle here. Quick way to do that, right? Anyone know? Select the graphic, go to the Home tab, Format Painter. Format Painter, make sure you click the object. There we go. It just takes the same properties from that graphic and applies it to the circle. Now, circles are cheap, so let's go ahead and use one more. I'm going to hold down my control key and click and drag to make a duplicate of that circle. And just hold my shift key down and just scale it down a little bit. Let's fill this one with a lighter gray, and I'll just move it in the middle. Pretty good, right? And I don't have to worry about taking the, the, the outline off the graphic because it's the same color as my shape and it just blends in. Obviously, you could take it off if you like. So let's go ahead and take a moment to rename some of our graphics here. So I'm gonna call this top one, I'll call that the base top, you know, the base circle. The circle at the bottom, I'm going to call this base bottom. And then for the trapezoid, I'll call that needle. Just to have those in order. Now, I trust myself and I trust the grids and alignment, but I might just want to draw a quick selection around both and do an align center up. I saw it move just a little bit, right? You can eyeball it, but you never get the same kind of measurements you do as if you use the format. So that looks pretty good. Everything looks really good for the needle. In the next movie, we'll go ahead and actually set up little tick marks and the sectors for each of the possible learner scores. So we'll see you in the next movie.